My name's Calliope Cosmos, but you can call me Cece for short. Welcome to my world. My world might be a little different than your world. Yeah, it only has one color. But I heard that reading colors your world. Is that true? It is? Well, that's easy. We'll just go ahead and we'll just read together. Oh no. How are we supposed to color my world without any books? Hmm. Wait a second. You have books. Do you, do you think you can help me? You will? Oh, that would be wonderful. Here's my idea. I think if you and I read at least one book a week, we could help color my world all the colors of the rainbow. That's right, red and yellow and orange and green and blue and purple. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. I think we should call my reading buddy Renee. She's got a story called Pow Pow Fish by Deborah Dyson, and it's one of my absolute favorites. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with her. Otherwise, get in a comfy spot and let's get ready to listen. Today we are reading The Pow Pow Fish by Deborah Dyson, illustrated by Dan Hanna, with permission granted by Macmillan Publishing. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum gloomy swimmer with an ever present pout. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary fairies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish! With your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. My thought, Mrs. Clam, I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face. So I spread the drew wearies all over the place. Blum, blum, blum. Along comes a jellyfish, floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face. So I spray the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid. Quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy. She is squelchy. She is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish. You kaleidoscope of milk. How about a little smile? A little joy? A little hope, 
says the fish to his friend. Mrs. Squid, I will try. But I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary weary all over the place. Blum, blum, blum. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hokey bokey soaky is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout. And then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. He blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, smooch, smooch. Smooch, smooch. Wow, that was so much fun. I love that story. I also like making a funny, pouty, fishy face. Do you think you can try with me? You put your lips together like this. And then sometimes you can add fins like you're breathing underwater. Can you swim around with me? Definitely wasn't there before. Oh my goodness, look at my clothes. Look at my hair. Guys, it's working. You did it. You're helping me color my world. Okay, how about we meet back here next Saturday at the same time and I'll call my friend Kara. She's gonna read us another one of my favorites, A Bad Case of Stripes by David Shannon. You think you can do that? Okay, I'll see you next week. Thanks for reading with us today. Now that you've read with us, we're going to go ahead and show you how to create a Pow Pout Fish Craft with the supplies that were inside of your bag at our craft pickup. Don't worry if you missed us there. These are all things that you can generally find around your house. So first you're gonna take that brown paper bag and get it ready by opening it up. Go ahead and grab a plastic baggie and make it into a ball and stuff it down inside that brown paper bag. Next, you'll use your blue marker to fill in the hole inside of the brown paper bag. And you're gonna pinch the brown paper bag around the marker, creating a little pocket. Go ahead and use your pipe cleaner to wrap around the brown paper bag to hold the marker in place. 
Make sure you tie it nice and tight so it doesn't come loose. Next, you'll go ahead and roll the brown paper bag all the way down, revealing the marker and tucking in that little ball that you've already created all around the brown paper bag. So you roll all the sides down. Feel free to grab a grown up if you need help doing this. And once you've pulled the brown paper bag all the way down, you're gonna take the tail end of the bag, the, the new top, and you're gonna squish that together to create its tail. So see, we're pinching it down, pinching it together, sort of fluffing out the tail to make it look more like a fin, more like a tail. Our marker is still holding in place. And once we've pinched all of this down, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab a piece of tape. And utilizing that tape, we're just gonna tape this section, all the spots that we pinched down together to create a nice holding effect for our fish. We wanna make sure that that tail doesn't come apart. So feel free to use another piece of tape if you need. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and remove your marker. And what you've done is you've created a little mouth. So there's our pout pout fish's pouty mouth, or in the case of pout pout fish, we know it's really a kissy mouth. You can go ahead now and decorate it any way you choose. You can feel free to add some paint if that's okay with your adults. We went ahead and colored it red today. If you don't have paint, that's fine. You can go ahead and use that blue marker that we provided, or go ahead and use crayons or colored pencils, even chalk. There's many different options that you can use. And one of the best things about doing art is there's no rules. You can make your fish look any way you want. Do you wanna give it rainbow scales? Go ahead and do so. You can add as many colors as you'd like. If you feel like making a fish that's all blue, all pouty like pout pout fish, you can do that. Or if you wanna make something that's bright, like our silent, silver shimmery fish, the one that gives pout pout a kiss, you can go ahead and do that as well. Remember if you're using paint to make sure that you have a surface that is okay to paint on or some protective cloth down or paper so you don't get yourself too messy. You can wear an apron or you can wear clothes that would be okay to get messy, but always make sure you're doing it with an adult's permission. We sure don't want you to get too messy and wind up with a parent that has got a big pout pout on their face. Ultimately, we just want you to have some fun. And if you enjoyed doing this craft, feel free to come back to us next week where we're going to read yet another book and we'll show you how to do another craft. Each of our stories will be paired along with a craft. So this will be a nice interactive experience that you guys can participate in while you read stories with us. Feel free to drop pictures of your pow pout fish, of your craft down in our comment section below. You can add it to our Facebook page or just feel free to share it along. We hope you had fun painting and coloring and reading with us today and can't wait to see you again next week. Have a great afternoon. Once again, we want to thank Deborah Dyson and Macmillan Publishing House for the authorized use of the Pow Pow Fish. Find this book online or at a local retailer near you.